Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today is Wednesday and I had the day off work. Um, it is a heat wave, so hopefully I can get this video done before I need to turn my aircon on because I don't like having my aircon on in the background. But in today's video, I'm excited because I've purchased something to put my Pokemon cards into. If you don't know, I've actually just recently got into Pokemon cards. I was into Pokemon cards as a kid. Not really like big into it but I did have some Pokemon cards um when I was in primary school you know when I was 10 11 I think around that time um so 20 something plus years but I've just recently got into them now I have so many cards I wanted something to put my cards into my good cards now I don't have anything to put all my cards in right now but I did get something I saw online to put like my fancy cards in so I did buy this um, online about a week and a half ago and it just arrived today. I think it's from Monster Box. I think it's from Monster Box and I did pay $150. I know that's expensive, but it's a storage box and I like the way it looks. And it has a Pokemon theme to it. So let's open it up. I did buy it in Australia, so I didn't have to wait too long for the shipping, which is good. I did pay express shipping $19. So, um... I'm glad that it finally came here. It was meant to come here on Monday, but there was a delay, so it finally came today. Um, so, yeah, let's open her up. This has been wrapped so well. So, so well. Oh, did I even show you the box? This is what it looks like. I don't want to show you the other side because it has my address on it, but it does say express shipping and all that type of stuff. All right, guys, I'm back. That took forever to get undone, but this is what it looks like. So you've got a Pokemon theme on the front. And then on the back, it does just say Monster Cube. So this is what it looks like. Now, this is just very hard plastic. It has a handle and it's just like a little briefcase. Um, I saw this and I was like, ah, let's buy it and see what it looks like. They did have something on the advertising saying that you might get some free cards in the box. Um, when you purchase these, I don't know if they actually included them or not. It might have just been a marketing tool. Um, it does have a little lock on the front. I didn't see any lock in the plastic wrap so hopefully this just yep okay so it does just open up oh i did get some cards in here oh i got one card okay it has a little note on it and it says hey james thanks for the support enjoy the cube and the cards if you love it leave us a review with a photo thank you so much again from monster cube so let's see what card i got Oh, I got a Kazam. Oh, this like is a shiny one. So that's what it looks like. That's pretty cool. And it does have a little sleeve. And there is another card as well. Oh, no, there's two more cards. Okay. The next one is a Sabrina's low bro. I've got dyslexia, so I don't know. If that's how you say it. I don't actually have these ones. So that's pretty cool. And then the last one is a dark flareon and this is stage one and okay condition's not the best you can see the edges have kind of been damaged but that's okay that's pretty cool i don't have that one okay so the condition on these cards is not like 100 percent um these are actually quite old but they are three that i don't have so i can add them to my collection and then i also have this um, little card case which is pretty cool now guys this is actually what the cube looks like the little keys in the corner so it's just a little standard key I think you could just put any type of like screwdriver or something there and open it easily but this is what it looks like guys and guys this box is actually I think meant to carry PSA 10 cards or PSA graded cards um they come in plastic sleeves i'll put some on the screen for you and i think they actually are meant to fit perfectly in that i don't know if this is yeah so this is kind of i guess the same size so it would fit perfectly kind of standing up in there and it's meant to protect all your really expensive cards some of the pokemon cards nowadays go up to like a hundred thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars like the first edition Charizards are really expensive. I think some of them have been sold for almost half a million dollars. Um, and then some of the other first editions ones go up to $25,000, $50,000. So, so it's good to have something to protect your cards and put them in. This is all foam lined. It does have foam in the front as well. I'm not expecting to get any really good expensive card or anything. But the ones that I do 
um, have I might keep in this little thing. Now, I don't know what PSA stands for, but I know it's one of the top grading um, like card collector's items out there. If you get a card that's graded 10, which is a top grading you can get from PSA, that puts the card value really, really high. I know my friend actually has some of those. He sent them off to America and he waited over a year to get them back, so it does take a while, and I don't know if PSA is actually grading any cards right now because they have so many sent in that they are trying to get through them. Um, so if I ever get any good cards, maybe I'll do that eventually. But you can buy a lot of these um, graded cards on eBay as well. If you don't want to send them off and wait a year, you can always just buy them online. I'm already graded, so you don't have to do that. But I have some of my like nicer, fancier cards that I've pulled or opened um, in my little sleeves here. My friend gave me some of these sleeves, and then I bought some more as well. So I actually have a couple first edition cards, which are 20 plus years old. And then I also have some other just shiny rainbow cards and stuff, which I'll quickly show you. Um, hopefully the camera will focus on them. You can't really see them in the sleeve, but I don't want to take them out because the more you handle them, the more likelihood of actually damaging the edges. But we've got this one here. Now, these are not like amazing cards. Some of them are just pretty, so I've kept them separate. This is actually a first edition Pikachu. So this is like 20 years old. What's this? 1995. We have a first edition... Um, one of these ones, which I can't pronounce, and I'm not going to pronounce. It's not pristine, but I did buy these um, last week from a collector. Um, I think the Pikachus I bought them for $40, and this card here I bought for 55 I think, which is pretty good. Um, so I've got two Pikachus first edition. I also have an Eevee somewhere that's first edition. I do have a Mew V Max, which is pretty rare, and I think that's worth about $100. My friend um, said, so that's pretty cool. And he's rainbow, so gay pride all the way. We've got an Umbrian E, what's this one? Um, Umbrian Star, which is quite a good one. I think my friend also said that's about $100. I've seen these um, graded PSA, 10 graded, and some of them go up to like $2,000, $3,000. But then some go for $500. So you don't really know um, how much they're really worth. They just give you a ball um, park figure. If you look on the eBay site, we have a... Mewtwo EX, which is pretty cool and pretty. I love purple. We have a leafy one. I can't remember how to say his name, but that's pretty cool. And that's like in really good condition, so that's good. Then we have this one here, which is another shiny one, like him. Then we have a rainbow dancer, which is pretty cool as well. And then we have my first edition um, Eevee, again, which is about 20 years old. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. I bought him for $20, so bargain in my opinion. And then we have a Dolphian, which my friend um, likes. I think that's the one he likes. I've got two of these, but one's an evolved version of this one, I think. And then the last one I actually pulled a couple of days ago. This is the Golden Urn, um, Urn of Fertility, and it's golden, so this is a super rare. I don't know the value of this one, but it is in pristine condition does have cat hair all over the um, plastic, but that's fine. It's not on the card itself. It is double sleeved. And online, when I looked at it on eBay, it was about $40. So I don't really know if it's like really expensive, but it's cool. And it's my first gold card. So I was really, really excited to pull that. So that's um, some of my rare cards. I don't know if I'm going to put these in this little box because they're not really that rare. Um, and they're not in the best condition. But they are ones that I don't have, so I can add them to my collection. Yeah. So, guys, that is the um, little unboxing of what I purchased for my Pokemon cards. I'm actually excited I got it. I saw it online, $150. I don't know if that's um, a little too much. It probably is a bit too much to spend. If my friend Josh ever saw this, he'll be like, what did you do? Why did you buy this? But I didn't have anything to keep all my cards. Right now, I'm just keeping all my little cards, my good cards, in this little um, blue money tin with my coins. So it's probably not the best place to keep them when they're like my collectible ones. Um, and I say collectible ones lightly because I don't really know how good they are or not. So I just really wanted something to put my cards in. I don't know if that will close without hitting it. I think it will. So I'm gonna actually put these in here and just show you what it looks like. Um, they actually fit quite snug in here. I do have smaller versions of these um, that are not so high and not so wide. So I might have to transfer my cards into them 
because they fit nicely, but maybe a little too nicely. Um, like, they actually fit really nicely. There, I don't know if you can see, it fits really nicely, but when you go towards the ends, it's getting more snug. I don't want to bend any of these at all. So I might have to transfer them into smaller sleeves um, that are like this, just not as wide and not as long. And then that way I can actually keep them in here. And it does have this little key, which let's see if it actually works, if it locks or not. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. I don't know how to lock this. Yeah, so uh, this lock, like it turns, but you can't get the key out after it's finished turning. Yeah, it doesn't lock. So this doesn't actually lock, which is kind of silly in my opinion. Let me try again. I mean, it's not locking guys, so. It doesn't lock. <laughs> $150 for something that doesn't really lock and the key is very, very like, very, very thin and very cheap. So yeah, I didn't really expect it to be that good. Um, I just wanted something to keep my nicer cards in just until I find out what I'm gonna do with them. I do wanna try and get some PSA 10 card because some of them are going very cheap online and it's just nice to add to my collection. Um, but yeah, that's um, my little Pokemon purchase today um i feel like i should open some cards i feel like this is just a very short video should i open some cards let's open some cards i'm not gonna have the same setup i did last time because that's a whole nother issue let me just get some cards and we can open them up shall we go? be right back all right guys i'm back and i have my birthday present i got from mel and tyson this is um, the Mystic Squishy Premium Collection. So it comes with like three actual V cards, which are pretty cool, I don't have them. And then it comes with three little squishies. And then it also comes with, I think, eight um, booster packs. So they're all from different um, evolutions. We've got Evolving Skies, we've got Raining Thingies and Sword and Shields, and we've got a whole lot of these different things. So I'm going to open them up. So I've actually had this in my wardrobe for about two or three weeks now. Almost, probably about three weeks. Oh, three weeks. Oh, <laughs> it's all good. Um, and I've been wanting to open this, so today's the day. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm gonna open it from this side. Let's pull it out. This is what it looks like, guys. I do actually have some sleeves next to me in case we pull some um, rare cards. I am gonna sleeve these ones up here that you can see already next to the squishies. So let's open this plastic up. Hopefully nothing falls everywhere. Okay. Okay, that's the second one I have. Oh, look at these little squishies. Look how cute they are. Oh, we got a new, and then we've got this little one, which looks like a leaf Pokemon, but also like a fairy. And then we've got an, I think this is an elevated Eevee. I don't really know these Pokemon that well, but these are really cute. So I'm really glad that I had them. They are so cute. Like if I ever get a Pokemon backdrop, I'll have these in the backdrop. So those are gonna stay there until I find a good spot for them. We do have a code card in this little thing. So you guys can use that code card, whoever uses it first. Congratulations to them. And then guys, we do have the, oh, oh, trying to not bend these. We do have these beautiful little cards. So we've got this one here, which goes with this squishy there. So we'll put that in a sleeve now. So it's all sleeved up and um, protected because you never know. Some of these could be super rare in 10, 15, 20 years if I'm still alive. And they might be worth something. And they don't take up much room, so I can just put these in the wardrobe and add to my collection. The next one we have is uh, the green version of this squishy. I can't say that name. I'm not even going to try because the Pokemon fans are going to destroy me in the comments. But if you do watch this video, Pokemon fans, and you do feel like leaving me a comment that might not be positive, 
please at least subscribe just because in the future you can watch my um, other Pokemon videos. So we've got this one here. This is the Mew with the little squishy. I actually have one of these cards. So this is going to be, I think, my second one of these. I think Josh got me one of these cards for my birthday. He got me a whole lot of um, booster packs and also got me some cards that I don't have. And some of the sleeves that I showed you earlier, some of these ones. So I was grateful for that. So this is my second one of this card. It's always good to have a backup of these nice cards. And this looks to be in pristine condition. So yay. And then guys, in this pack we have all of these booster packs. Look at them all. That's crazy. I think we have eight in total. Let me get rid of this plastic. And okay, so we have Evolving Skies. We have two Evolving Sky packs. Ten cards in those. We have two Vivid Voltage packs. Those are them there. Then I have one Rebel Clash one, which I've never actually um, opened before. So I might open one of those up in this video. We have a Chilling Rain, one of those. And then lastly, we have two um, battle styles. Two. <laughs> we have two of those. Um, hopefully, there isn't a rare card in that one because all the edges will be um, mashed up. All right, guys, I'm not going to open all of these up in this video, but I think I'll open the one I dropped. I'll open the Rebel Clash one because I've never opened one of those. And then I'll also open the, one of the Chilling Rain. So I'll open three on camera for you guys. I don't know how I'm going to do it because normally I have my um, iPhone pointing down. That's how I film my little shorts. But the camera's in front of me. So I'm going to open these up and we're going to try and see what I get. Let's open this Rebel Clash one because, again, I've not opened one of these before and I'm excited. Um, I don't know how people open back with their fingernails. Like, I don't want to open. I can't open these without... Oh, I opened it. Oh, okay, that's the first. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, I'm just going to open these the way I do it. This is the code card, whatever that is there. I don't really know how to open these properly on camera like this, so um, let's try and do it this way. It's just, I don't think the camera's going to focus, but let's open it. Oh, don't mind my fingernails. Yeah, this is not really working, but we're going to continue opening them. Oh, that's a nice shiny one. I don't have one of those. Oh, actually, I had this one. Energy card. Oh, normal one with that one. And then we've got this one here. And that's the last card. Oh, that's the last card. Oh, that's pretty cool. Actually, I might have opened one of these because I have had some of these cards before. So that's the first pack. I know it's not the best way to open these. I apologize. But we're just going to open the last two packs up. Let's open this up. We've got the card again. I'll show you the code. So whoever gets to it first can use it. I don't use these online. That's the code there. All right, guys, okay, so let's try this again. So we've got that one, this one. Normally I count the first four and do what um, Lee and Hart does, but I'm not doing it today because it's awkward. Oh, that's pretty nice and shiny. Oh, oh, what's that one? Oh, we've got a V, Kick Latoon. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's cool. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, get my fingers out of the way. There we go. Focus. Come on, camera. There we go. Oh, look at that. How pretty is that? Oh, let's put that in the sleeve and add to my little collection. Oh, that's exciting. I haven't got this one. Nice and shiny. It looks like a bug. And the condition's pretty good from what I can see. Oh, yeah. Condition's actually pretty good. All right. So, happy about that. The last one is we've got energy and then we've got three of these ones. Those are the three. Not the best, but that's cool. And then the last packet, guys, we have, again, let's just open it up. Code card is here. There we go. That's the code card. I know this is not how I normally open the cards up in my shorts. I apologize, but we're just doing it this way today. That's pretty cool. Not the best way. I'm new to um, Pokemon cards, guys. Oh, that's nice and pretty. Oh, no, I already have him. I just added him to my collection. <gasps> What's this one? Oh, this one I don't have. I got the other blue horse of this version. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sorry, I haven't even really shown you. Oh, that's pretty. 
Look at that. Oh, we can add that to my collection as well. I get excited about these because they're pretty. I don't know if they're valuable or not, but it's pretty. And then we have three other ones. All of these I've um, already got. All right, guys, so that's everything I've got to show you in this video. I do have these other packs, but I might open them up um, later on in another video. So we've got two Evolving Skies left, and we've got two Vivid Voltage and a Battle Style left. So we've got five of those. I'm actually really happy with the three, like, oh, did I get three? No, I got two of these little V cards. They're new to my collection. Happy about that. And these little squishies are so cute. Like, look at them. So, so cute. That's, this one's my favorite because I love the color green and blue eyes. Like, if I was going to be a bug or a Pokemon, I'd probably want to look like that. I want to sit them around my desk, um, maybe on top of my, like, my mirror. That would be pretty cool. If I had, like, one here, I think that would be cool. Like if one, two, and three, that might actually work. Maybe I just put a little bit of um, double-sided tape and just have them sit there and watch me do my makeup. That would be cool until I get a Pokemon backdrop or just a backdrop in general. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and also check out my Instagram and TikTok because I do post a lot of videos on there that I don't film for my YouTube channel. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time, guys. On my love. Bye.